Hello skating friends! In this video I want to demonstrate to you how you can replace some missing parts of your boot using 3D printer. 3D printer is something that I just uh, acquired recently. I didn't have any specific purpose for 3D printer. I do some amateur electronics and I needed to print some like boxes, cases where I could put my circuits into and uh, then I just realized I can use it for much more than that, just that. It so happened that I lost a shield guarding piece of plastic uh, from one of my Tau boots. Tau boots is, is a power slide high-end boot. It's a very good quality, it's one of the most amazing boots that I had actually and it's uh, it looks great as well aesthetically speaking at least to my taste but uh, the problem with these type of soft boots that they are quite fragile and you can see right now at the side of the boot there is a really bad scratch and this is what I'm talking about um, so ideally it should be protected from there should be some kind of like bumper sort of things otherwise with, without this protection uh, you may lose your boot very quickly and th this boot is quite expensive so it's better to keep it protected so let me demonstrate to you this is the part that I'm talking about it's a, a sort of guarding piece of plastic uh, at the tip of the boot what it does, it protects your boot from any type of collisions, scratches and so on. And on the side of the boot you can see what can happen if you don't have this sort of protective pieces of plastic. And it so happened that I lost, on, it just fell off at some point uh, from my right boot. And uh, recently I just happened to buy a 3D printer and uh, started learning some, some 3D modeling and I thought, hey, why don't I just use it for for printing some parts of the skate that I lost specifically here is uh, the shield at the tip of the skate so I'm gonna do some tracing here now it doesn't have to be too precise here. When you do the tracing, it's very important to retain the scale. So, shape is one thing that you need, the shape of the, uh, of the part that you are printing, but also very important to retain the scale. And for that, you don't need much actually, you need only one one measurement so I'll measure the width of the tape of the skate and it looks like it's 8.7 centimeters and I will write it down here on the paper so what I'm doing now is basically I'm just writing down the true scale of the picture of this sketch I will need it later when I do my 3D modeling. And the same story with the sh with the shape uh, of the boot um, from the side. I will need to make a sketch from this side. Um, it wasn't very accurate here, so I'll do another try. It's not that easy. Okay, this will do. I need to measure in the same fashion. This caliper tool is very good, good precision, which I don't really need for this sort of job. Yeah, so 3.2 centimeters, that will do. I'll just write it down accordingly. Now I need to take a picture of uh, my hand-drawn 
sketch. Uh, I take two pictures. Now let's do some 3D modeling. So I'm gonna import the first sketch, which is the shape of the shape of the boot. So here, now, now you can see why I drew that line with that number, it's 8.7 centimeters. So I made that line, you, you can see the line, bluish line at the bottom of this uh, sketch, which is exactly 87 millimeters. And now I just need to match the size of my sketch with that line and looks like it's done. Again, it doesn't have to be super precise because uh, the thickness of that shield is not going to be too much, so it's going to be flexible. And this flexibility will offset poor precision of my design. Yeah, so that will do. This spline tool is really awesome. As you can see, it can it can pretty accurately repeat any curved line that you have. This is supposed to be the shape of the boot. Unfortunately, I can't really see the toe area, so it, it's too. It looks too perfect. Uh, it looks too perfect, not not like the shape of the boot itself. But that, that's okay. That's not a problem actually. And now I need this uh, offset plane here. The plane is uh, perpendicular to the tip of that uh, spline. And I will just import my other sketch here. The height will be 3.2 centimeters, as you can see on the picture. So here we go. I just need to rotate it like this, 90 degrees. And now I need to match the size like uh, I did before. So the size of this sketch should reflect the actual size of the boot. And this is where I should be as precise as I can. Okay, it looks good. So I will finish this sketch and now I will need to trace my sketch. So basically I'm tracing my my trace. What I traced with the, my pencil, now I need to trace the same with a 3D modeling tool. As you can see, it's pretty easy. Now I'm gonna need this offset tool. Basically what it does, it will create, it will give some thickness to my spline and it will define a thickness of my guard, the thickness of the plastic guard. The thickness will be 1.5 millimeters. If it's thicker than that, it will be too rigid, not flexible enough. If it's less than that, it's gonna just break apart in your hands, let alone when you're skating and hitting something with your boot. So, I found that uh, 1.5 millimeters is a good thickness. And now what I need to do is I need to sweep this shape across the initial spline, which was, uh, which is the shape of the boot. And voila, the magic has happened. Isn't it cool? So this is supposed to be this is supposed to reflect the shape of the boot and uh, it doesn't have to be too precise 
I'm gonna print it now and uh, let's see what's gonna happen. So if you haven't dealt with 3D printing before, before you print you need to use the slicer tool. The slicer will generate a program, a program for your 3D printer, uh, how to print that object. So the program is very precise, it just uh, tells your 3D printer where to move the nozzle, uh, the amount of filament that needs to be extruded and it, it, it's just a very precise program to print that object. So there's uh, some time lapse here. Of course my 3D printer is not that quick, unfortunately. How awesome would it be if it was like that? But it still was pretty quick, it took only 10 minutes to print this part. There you go. Let's have a look. There are some residual uh, parts here, which we'll have to remove. And yeah, basically this is our shield and uh, I'll just try it here. We'll have a look if it, if it fits. Yeah, you can see that it fits uh, more or less fine. Of course, not too perfect, but it's okay. You don't need it to be too perfect. It's flexible enough to take the form, the shape of your boot. Again, if it was thicker, it would sacrifice the flexibility of the shield. But the protection would be better. So actually I may try to, later, later on at some point, I will try to make it thicker and find the best, the best width, the, be the best thickness. So here, I'm, uh, what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to improve, like I'm trying to get rid of these sharp edges. The sharp edges, they never look good. I'm trying to make them smooth by using fillet tool yes yeah, something like that it will make it look better and now I'd like to add something so that it's not just such a boring piece of plastic. I will add a sign so you can customize, basically you can customize anything you print. And for me the customization will be a sign. You can add some spikes or any, any sort of shape on it. Uh, you can even probably add your own portrait if you want but for me it's gonna be we love to skate sign because we love to skate obviously um, this looks pretty cool but the problem with this sort of sign when it's overhanging like uh, the, the 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 letters are sticking out the problem is that 3d printer is not very good at printing and overhanging parts so it will need some support and because it's so curvy um, it wasn't so easy to to make a good support for those letters so I decided to make them engraved instead it doesn't look as good as when they are sticking out so now they are sort of carved in but it's still still okay and uh, here you will see the curvy uh, edges now it's it's much better 
it's not as sharp. Uh, so I'll, I'll, I will use this glue gun to attach. Don't use just a regular super glue because it's going to be very hard to remove it. But the glue gun is very easy. Uh, I don't like this blue color, so I will print in a different color. And uh, you'll see how easy it is to get rid of, to, to remove this uh, part. But if I, if I used super glue, it would be quite a challenge. I would probably need to use some solvent, acetone or something. So there are a couple of improvements, improvements still needed here. Um, the shield is too, uh, too large. You can see that sticking, the part sticking out too high above the white part of the white leathery part of the boot. So I will uh, make it a bit lower. And also I will just um, use a filament that would match better to the style of the boot. You can see that it, it's just so much better. Blue is not a color for this boot. It should be black or white. I don't have black filament. However, I think the black would be pretty awesome. Um, but white, white is okay as well. So here's uh, another time lapse. I wish at some point 3D printers will just work with like with that speed actually. But this time lapse I think it's like 10 times, 8 or 10 times quicker than it was in reality. But it was still quite fast, which was 10 minutes. So there you go, the ultimate design. So I will just remove this uh, support part which you can see it's slightly overhanging from the top i uh, just removed removed it with a knife and you can see how flexible it is which is actually very good this is exactly what i wanted uh, in the beginning i said that it doesn't your sketch doesn't have to be too precise for exactly that reason that uh, this material is pretty flexible when it's uh, 1.5 millimeter thick it's flexible enough to take the shape of your boot be generous with the glue. It's, it's not a glue really, it's a plastic, but uh, anyway, be generous here. You want more of it. Make sure that glue gun is really hot, because otherwise this plastic will just uh, chill down too quickly. And put it there, just hold it for a minute or so, and this is it you have your boot with a new protection on it. How awesome is that? There are some few gaps uh, which I will eliminate by just applying more glue from the glue gun. And it looks pretty well, all in all. So there's a little gap there. I'll just put more glue in it. Yeah, so as you can see, 3D printer it can be a really helpful tool for your skating. Especially if you're using high-end boots, expensive soft boots. Like w when it's a hard boot, it's generally not a problem because they are very firm, they are plastic, made of plastic. But with soft boots, they use different materials. They use soft materials oh, like leather. Even if it's fake leather, doesn't matter, it's still a soft material. If you have a look to the side of the boot, you can see that uh, some material is missing there. It was basically shaved off. And it's not just because I fell once on that part. I fell on, I fall on it regularly. And what I'm planning actually, I'm planning to reinforce the side parts of this boot. Because I think maybe a couple of more folds on the side and uh, uh, it will be completely shaved off. 
If you like this video, please let me know in your comments and put some likes. I usually don't ask that, but for this video I will because uh, it will let me know if uh, Skating World is interested in exploring what else can be done uh, with 3D printer for your skates, which uh, parts you can replace with your 3D printer and so on. So it will really give me understanding if uh, you are interested in seeing more videos like this one. So thank you for watching and uh, I will see you in my next video.